The coconut is God's gift a tree of heaven. It is culturally, socially and religiously intertwined with the people of India as they call it kalpavriksha which literally means the tree which provides all necessities of life. It also has a ceremonial importance not only in India but across different cultures. India plays a prominent role in the global coconut and related product supplies. India is the third largest producer of coconut behind Philippines and Indonesia. India's total coconut exports has risen a phenomenal 13% and been giving tough competition to other producer countries. The scope and abundance of this nut has given trade, marketing and employment opportunities to countless people. Taking this opportunity, Coconut Development Board under the Ministry of Agriculture in association with international coconut community an intergovernmental organization organized an international conference on trade and marketing of coconut products on 27th and 28th February at Hyderabad the theme of the conference is global coconut industry cruising to the pinnacle the program is convened in hybrid mode with the participation of representatives from international organizations policy makers entrepreneurs exporters and other stakeholders from the industry the inaugural ceremony started with lighting of lamp and introductory address by chief guests Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Nadendla, IAS, Chief Executive Officer, Coconut Development Board, Dr. Jelfina Alau, Executive Director, International Coconut Community, Jakarta, Indonesia, Sri Raghunandan Rao, IAS, Agriculture Production Commissioner and Secretary Agriculture, Government of Telangana, Dr. P. Chandrasekhara, Director General. National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management of india ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare and coconut development board jointly organized with uh, a conference an international conference on coconut products with uh, international coconut community icc indonesia today in uh, in the city of hyderabad in telangana to discuss various issues uh, with regard to coconut products their marketing the research issues and uh, the issues pertaining to the farmers and traders alike uh, so there are uh, more than uh, 450 delegates international delegates uh, participating virtually in this conference and there are also uh, almost 150 delegates from various countries participating physically in hyderabad uh, they are all going to discuss uh, and deliberate upon various issues pertaining to the coconut industry this is a two day conference and as you all know india is uh, number 1 in coconut production and number 2 in coconut productivity uh, so uh, and and coconut is being produced in almost uh, uh, 20 states across the country and many farmers are uh, engaged in uh, in the cultivation of uh, coconut and uh, manufacturing the various coconut products and also uh, doing business in uh, various coconut products so uh, put together uh, we earn almost 7000 crore rupees uh, uh, in terms of uh, coconut uh, product exports and uh, the sector contributes almost 3700 crore rupees to the gdp it's my greatest honor and privilege to meet 
and welcome, welcome you here in person to meet excellencies, dignitaries, and all coconut stakeholders who are physically and virtually attending this international conference on trade and marketing of coconut products from 29 countries yeah in this beautiful city yes uh, the beautiful scenery along the way from the airport to this hotel has actually spoiled my eyes so it is worth holding this conference here in Hyderabad. Thank you so much for the organizing committee. Let me uh, also convey my deep sense of gratitude on my behalf and also on the behalf of the government of Telangana to Dr. Vijayalakshmi Garu for organizing this conference in Hyderabad and choosing this city for this conference. I'm sure uh, this conference will be successful and it will also give a fillip to the coconut uh, sector in the state. Telangana is, is a new province in the, in the country of India. It is just about eight and a half years old. And over the last eight and a half years, Telangana has invested heavily on agriculture and horticulture. Um, we have managed to complete all our ongoing irrigation projects. Our irrigation potential has gone up tremendously over the last eight years. We are the only state in the country which provides 24 by 7 power supply to the agricultural sector. And over the last eight years, there has been tremendous growth in the agricultural sector in Telangana, especially in the field crops of cotton and paddy, which are our two main crops. <clears throat> so I think Telangana is in the need now to migrate from field crops to plantation crops. And it is in that direction that over the last couple of years, we have promoted oil farm. And I think coconut and other plantation crops are just on the anvil as far as Telangana is concerned. Because of the investments that have, we have made in irrigation and the increased groundwater potential and surface water that is now available uh, to the farmers, I am sure coconut will become one of the choices of the farmers in our state. This is a great opportunity for especially extension professionals to discuss on transfer of technology issues in uh, coconut. This international conference on uh, trade and marketing of coconut products organized by International Coconut Council and Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Coconut Development Board in Hyderabad is a uh, it's a great event. Uh, many international participants are te, uh, you know participating in this program. So uh, it uh, raises many you know issues for discussion like uh, how our farmers should get uh, you know more income by growing the coconut. What kind of value addition uh, technologies are there? Opportunities are there? and how a effective transfer of technology, especially with respect to market-led extension, can also take place. Uh, you know, uh, majority of the coconut growers are uh, small and uh, marginal farmers. I think uh, market-led extension is a very important uh, issue before them. We have to rejuvenate entire extension system towards a market-led extension so that uh, marketing of coconut and products becomes easy and farmers get uh, more income and that is the main objective of this conference. Here not only Indian experiences, many international organizations who are participating here, they are going to contribute uh, in this direction. Ultimately how coconut cultivation can benefit income of the farmers, that is the very objective of this international conference. So international conference on trade marketing and coconut uh, product. जो कोकोनट डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर के अधीन और इंटरनेशनल कोकोनट कम्युनिटी आईसीसी जकार्ता के सहयोग से ये दो दिन के कॉन्फ्रेंस का आयोजन किया गया इस कॉन्फ्रेंस में करीबन 26 देशों से अलग-अलग प्रतिभागियों ने इसमें भाग लिया और साथ ही साथ इस प्रोग्राम में हाइब्रिड मोड में से करीबन 450 दूसरे जगह से लोगों ने इसमें सहभाग लिया इस दो दिन के कॉन्फ्रेंस में कोकोनट प्रोडक्ट पर विभिन्न विषयों पर चर्चा होगी कि किस प्रकार से इसकी मार्केटिंग किस प्रकार से इसमें वैल्यू एडिशन किया जाएगा और इस प्रोग्राम को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए जो एपीओज है या फार्मर के जो अलग-अलग जो समूह है उसको कैसा इससे बेनिफिट मिलेगा इस पर विस्तृत चर्चा होगी 
इसके लिए इस दो दिन के सत्र में जो यहाँ पर आए हुए अलग अलग जो व्याख्याता है जो प्रशिक्षक है जो अपनी सारे विचार रखेंगे और इस कॉन्फ्रेंस के माध्यम से उनको कोकोनट को डेवलपमेंट कराने के लिए जो सारी जो उपलब्धियाँ है उससे अवगत कराएंगे ताकि कोकोनट की जो प्रोडक्शन की जो गतिविधि है वो बढ़े और साथ ही साथ सभी का इसमें योगदान मिलकर के उन लोगों को फ़ायदा पहुँचे जो जिसमें जो ऑल स्टेक होल्डर्स जिसमें होते हैं जिसमें प्रोड्यूसर है कंज्यूमर्स है बायर्स है तो कुल मिला करके कोकोनट डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड को इसका फ़ायदा ये मिलेगा कि उनको इसमें बाकी समूह के माध्यम से कोकोनट के डेवलपमेंट के एक्टिविटी बढ़ाने के लिए किसानों के तक पहुँचाने के लिए इस सम्मेलन का फ़ायदा होगा After the inaugural session the dignitaries released the diamond jubilee issue of Indian Coconut Journal The presentation session which is the backbone of this international conference started with themes covering with statements like international outlook for coconut products sustainable coconut sourcing growth prospects for coconut products and application of technology in coconut sector presenters showcase their policies ideas and papers to the audience both physically and virtually several questions and reasoning expressed by the audience and stakeholders were also clarified by the presenters Valedictory session marked the conclusion of this two-day event where the dignitaries expressed their immense joy and happiness over the successful conclusion of this conference and praised the presenters for their innovative ideas policies which were not only thought provoking but also quite useful in the trade and marketing of coconut products which in turn helps the producers and other stakeholders uh first of all i would like to thank the government of india uh through its uh, coconut development board and also the icc for inviting us here and uh, for this uh, trade and market development uh, conference today conference it uh, contributes a lot Uh, in the coconut industry of all the member countries who are producing uh, the coconut products so again i would like to congratulate the organizers and i would like to thank uh, each and every participant for uh, doing a great job uh, for the success of the two day conference namaskaram कोकन डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड कोचि अंड मिनिस्ट्री अंडर दि मिनिस्ट्री आफ् अग्रिकलर गवर्नमेंट आफ् इंडिया इस आर्गनज टू डे काफरे ट्रेड अंड मार्केटिंग आफ को प्रोडक्ट इन दट वी हव डिस्कस्ड सो मेनी इश्यूस रिलेटेड टू वैल्यू अडिशन मार्केटिंग इंपोर्ट अंड एक्सपोर्ट अंड आलो नौ दि प्रयारीटी विल बी चेंज फ्रम इयर आनवर्ड्स फ्रम दि कलटिवेशन टू मार्केटिंग i think uh, in next coming days uh, we are giving a more uh, priority for the marketing of uh, coconut products so in sport the farmers will be getting more income than the earlier years what our uh, union government uh, mandate is doubling income will be concentrating on that one so during that in this conference we we'll elaborately we discussed and many of the issues related to all the aspects of marketing marketing of coconut products uh, so that uh, in coming days we'll have a uh, detailed action plan on that one this international conference on trade and marketing of coconut products has been organized jointly by the international coconut community in jakarta and the coconut development board working under the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare government of india so this conference was organized as a part of getting knowledge about the demand and supply situation for coconut products in the global world and also the prospects for coconut products in the days to come the conference was attended 
physically by over 120 participants and around 500 people had joined the conference virtually from around 30 countries. So we have had resource speakers and participants from the major coconut growing countries of Indonesia, Philippines and Sri Lanka. We have had resource speakers from ITC, from LMC International and reputed organizations who are doing market analysis of coconut and coconut products. Uh, this conference has been organized by Coconut Development Board and Government of India and this was focus was basically trade and marketing and the idea is basically how to improve our productivity from India so we can compete from the rest of the world. Now the marketing is the very very important question now these days and marketing of the coconut uh, production as well as the coconut water also it is a very competitive world. So if you look at the India which is number one in the production but number two in the productivity. So many deliberations has happened and we have learned a lot how to improve our productivity. Although we are number one in the production and how to increase the income of our farmer. As we are aware, our motto is improve the farmer income and by learning from others like uh, Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand, Sri Lanka, and many more countries, we have learned about the improve the productivity and we have also explored the international market we can export our products which are made by the coconut. Mm -hmm.